In this video clip, I'm going to show you how to take the floor plan that you've created in the house design and open it into layout. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your lot floor plan SKP file saved somewhere in your H drive. So I'm going to do that to make sure I have it backed up. Show it in folder and then I'm going to move it right onto my desktop, but you would be doing your H drive. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to, let's minimize this, we're going to go find layout. So once we find layout, I'm going to open that up. Once layout op opens, there should be two dialog boxes that appear. First one you can minimize or close, which gives you tips. And this one right here, getting started, is where you will set up your paper. Click on A3 landscape and hit open. Then I'm going to go to file, document setup. I'm going to change the paper size and I'll make it 11 by 17 which is known as tabloid. Then I'm going to close the file. And then I'm going to go in and find my SketchUp drawing. So go to File, Insert. We're looking for the lot floor plan. So click on the lot floor plan, hit Open. And there it is. Obviously not in the view that we would like it to be. So in order to change those things, uh, I have my default tray over here on the side and I'm going to go in and change the view. Well, let's first hit ortho. And we have the top view selected. Go to styles, change, get rid of the background, go back to view, turn it from raster to vector. So the background will now be removed. We're going to change the scale. We want one quarter inch equals one foot. And then we're going to reposition the house and drag out everything so that the entire house fits onto our drawing. And if it doesn't fit, we went, may need to use the one eighth inch equals one foot scale so that we're able to dimension. And it looks like that's what we're going to have to do at this time. So let's go ahead and change the scale to the eighth inch equals one foot. It's a little bit smaller, but that's okay. And there we go. Zoom in on it. You can actually do a preview by going into the preview mode and there is the house with the floor plan. Now you're able to continue with your dimensions if you don't already have all of the dimensions included. Um, this group does have some of their dimensions included. If, they, if you really want to be picky about this, you can go back in your floor plan and delete the dimensions that you left behind uh, so that whenever you come into layout you can create new dimensions which will all be on the same standard. So when you click on the dimensions tab right up here, this tool right here, you're going to need to go into the dimension style and change some things. You want the dimension to be in the center of the leader line or extension line and you're going to want to change from meters to feet. And we're going to measure, you can go into architectural since we're an architectural component. Um, you can decide to adjust these however you see fit. Um, but the scale that I'm going to use goes up to the nearest inch. And then I'm going to go ahead and trace from endpoint to endpoint to create the outside dimension. So it's a 44 foot wall section. Then I can come in here and do each room by zooming in, pulling that out, and then going on to create the next dimension as I see fit. So go ahead and dimension the rest of the house. And when you are finished, you will then be able to add text anywhere on the drawing, which will include lot number and floor plan. So I'm going to do that right now. So let's go ahead and choose some text. So my text tool is right here. And I'm going to put that right here. It's going to say lot 11 floor plan. And we also want to title it layout. Okay, then highlight that and you can choose any font you want. Let's go into the text and bold it. And then you can go ahead and choose the different font styles, which is not letting me do it. There we are, text styles. 
and there we go. You can change the sizes if you want to. You can go ahead and adjust to whatever you want. I usually use impact, so let's go with impact. Lot 11 floor plan layout. If you want to go bigger for the top font, there you go. It's also important that you include the scale, so let's go ahead and put the scale here as well. The scale will be 1 8 inch colon 1 foot. Okay, so let's highlight that now. And let's make sure that we have selected the correct font. Okay, we're having trouble with that, so I'm just going to type it. There it is, impact. And let's change the font. There we go. It also would help if I put scale in front. Scale, eighth inch equals one foot. So there you have it. There is the drawing. Last thing you're going to do then before you upload it to Google Drive is file, save as, and you can save it. Actually, that's not going to work. I apologize. Say it. We're going to go file, export, and you could save it as an image. That way it's easier. So let's go into desktop. That's where I'm going to save it, but you would save it to your H drive. And I'm going to go with 11 lot floor plan drawing, or I should say layout. And let's change it to JPEG. Save it. Export. This is going to be then a JPEG image. If you prefer a PDF image, you can do that as well, and I'll show you how to do that. So go to File, Export, PDF. Once again, put the same file name in. And I'm just going to cheat and just go ahead and highlight that one. Get rid of the number one. And we'll save this as PDF. Hit Save, Export, and Done. If you want to look, there is the finished product. So then go into your Google Drive. Let's go back into Google Drive. And then you're going to upload the new file that you've just created. So there is the image file that could be uploaded or the JPEG. And then what's beautiful about this is that once it's finished, you should be able to just click on the image and then it pops right up. So there is the dimension floor plan for your house.